Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 488 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today, I'm trying out this AOA Studio Mascara Duo. So this comes with a Hyper Lash Fiber Mascara and a Pre-Lash Mascara Primer. And this actually cost $2.00. Most of the products that I get from Shop Miss A are only $1, but this one was two, but it is still cruelty free. I'm a big fan of the AOA Studio brand, so hopefully I will be a big fan of these mascaras. What I think I wanna do today is put the primer on one eye and then just do the mascara without the primer on the other eye and then we can see if there's a difference. So I just wanna call out that I am doing something right now that I never do. Like I haven't done this in probably years and that is to wear my hair natural with it just air dried. I've been heat styling my hair every day for honestly like at least five years and I was just so happy with how my hair was looking when I took it out of a clip that I was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna touch it. I'm just gonna let it be. And this is not how my hair used to air dry before. So I will talk about this in probably a future video. I have mentioned it on my Instagram, but I just switched shampoos and conditioners to a custom shampoo and conditioner. It's from the brand Formulate and I've been using it for two or three weeks now and I'm like so excited about the results. Like to have the confidence to wear my hair just natural is huge for me. So I'm really excited about this product, but that's not what this video is about. I just had to call it out because I'm like looking at myself in the monitor and I'm like, wow, my hair is really impressing me. But look forward to that on my Instagram or a future video about my new hair care. <laughs> But so let's check out the mascara wand on the primer. Oh my gosh, the lid just came off. Okay, I don't think that's supposed to happen, but oh well. Whoa, I mean, it's not white. It's actually black. That's surprising. A rounded, it's a brush a bristle applicator. Okay, that was not what I was expecting for the pre-lash, but I'm just gonna go for it. Gosh, it's like there's nothing on the applicator. Okay, yeah, that is weird. There's like no product on that. It's like all dry. It's like actually kind of crumbly. It's like really hard to even get it onto my lashes right now. This is really strange. But I mean, that makes a difference. It's basically like applying a very thin layer of mascara. Okay, maybe this Hyper Lash Fiber Mascara will be better. Okay, the... No, I spoke too soon. <laughs> the cap still fell off. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is disgusting. Okay, let me show you what I just pulled out of here. Look at this thing. It's like all warped and smushed. I can't use this. I can't apply mascara with this. Okay, but this, like it came out dry. Yeah, there is no mascara in here. Okay, false alarm. I had to look up what a fiber mascara was and a fiber mascara is supposed to be like this. Well, it's not supposed to have a smushed wand like this. That part is unfortunate, but it is supposed to be dry with these nylon fibers. So they're supposed to stick onto the lashes. So this is not a primer and a regular mascara. This is what's needed to stick the fibers onto the lashes. So I'm going to move a little bit faster and apply the pre-lash all over my lashes. Okay, makes sense now why this is black. But it is still pretty dry, drier than I would expect. 
And now, oh, I wish this wand wasn't all morphed, but then it says just sweep it in a straight motion. I'm afraid of getting the fibers in my eyes. But then it will grab on. And it does say you can expect to have some fallout, which I am getting. But this is crazy. It's basically like attaching fluffiness onto your lashes. Like making my lashes fuzzy. It's hard though because my wand is so messed up. This is quite the experience. And then the instructions say to go back over it again with the pre-lash. Gosh, this is so crazy. I can't believe this is an invention, but my research says that it is and that almost all makeup brands have mascaras like this. But gosh, this is messy and a lot of work. Okay, and I have these little fibers all over my face and the final result, let me show you the difference in my eyelashes. Not very impressive. I like how my lashes look a lot more with a regular mascara. And also this is just too messy. But that was a pretty cool experience and I'm intrigued by the idea of a fiber mascara. So let me know in the comments down below if you know of any good fiber mascaras and I will try those out in future videos because I just learned about a whole other type of makeup product that I didn't even know existed. I'm kind of embarrassed that this is day 488 and I didn't even know how fiber mascaras worked. <laughs> but that's okay. Maybe I was able to teach one of you what fiber mascara is gosh. Well, thank you so much for watching my video today. <laughs> Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day, and I will see you tomorrow in my next video.